Hello, I'm Nick Levelin from the Pegasus Property Group. Um, I'm going to give you a quick video tour of a new five bedroom patriot match Stoke on Trent that we've just completed. Um, the figures on this are £75,000 for purchase, uh, £25,000 for the renovation. Um, we're going to hopefully achieve around sort of uh, 375 to 395 per double room. Uh, we've got three bathrooms, one en suite. The en suite we're hoping to achieve 450 a month. So. If you hang around to the end of the video, uh, there'll be a slideshow or some professional photos that we've had done. Um, there'll be floor plans, there'll be all the numbers, etc. Um, and if you visit our website, www.pegsispg.com, and download our investor pack, there'll be loads more information, spreadsheets, etc., on this property and other properties that we've also completed. So we'll start by going outside and having a quick look at the, uh, the shape of the building. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a corner terrace, so it's a sort of triangle shape. Um, if you look upstairs um, you've got the first window here on the left and that's one of the bedrooms and then on the right you've got another bedroom so I'll show you when we go inside we've had to be a little bit creative with the space that we've, that we've got available to us um, so this one was scheduled to take four months to complete but it took five months um, however we kept it on budget so if we wanted to complete um, the process quicker we could have spent more money um, but the quality could have dropped as well and we we specialize in sort of high quality HMOs so we were quite happy to give it the extra month. It, you know, it was another month's worth of bills to pay, but it wasn't a biggie really. Um, it was more cost effective to do that than to, you know, spend the extra thousands and thousands getting it finished. So yeah, so this is the entrance hall. Um, our meters are outside here. We've got Virgin Media here as well. Uh, all the bills are included in the rent on this property. Gas, electric, TV license, uh, water, etc. So this is the first bedroom. So you see, you see in the floor plans at the end, but basically this house has three reception rooms downstairs. So we're able to, to use two of those reception rooms as bedrooms, and then still have a lounge and a kitchen and a utility space. So that's quite cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is the purple bedroom, bedroom one. Um, we dress all of our rooms like this. Um, it's not too expensive. We literally go to B&M in Argus and buy, you know, the bedding and the cushions and the lamps and the wall art. And it's just like a little added feature that that in the photos, which we see at the end, uh, the rooms really come to life. And you know, that's that's what sort of um, you know on our adverts, that's what we use in those photos, entice the tenants to come in the door and actually look at the property. And once we get them around it, then we can do our sales pitch and, and sort of get them signed up. You know, we have quite a good success rate for. Uh, viewings to people actually signing up it's, it's quite good so uh, the first step is just getting them in the door really but you know when our pictures go on spareroom.com and other websites that we use um, they do stand out a lot just because of the, the the room dressings and the sort of props that we use and you know you see you see at the end in the slideshow you know how we dress rooms and uh, make them look nice basically so have a quick whip round so <coughs> This is the lounge area, so uh, all the all the furniture in this house, um, so the tea, the, um, the sofas, the the beds, the wardrobes, the bedside tables, they're all provided by Fusion Furniture, who are a company based in Manchester, and it all comes pre-built uh, with a one-year warranty. So we use them for a lot of our HMOs. We find they're really good, uh, good quality customer service. It's excellent if you ever get any issues. Um, we supply a TV in the communal space. It's on free, free sat and free view. To be honest with you, people don't tend to use it. In the smaller sort of three bedroom mini HMOs that we do, um, the tenants seem to be a bit more sociable when they do watch TV together. But when you sort of get to five, six bed HMOs, people seem to spend more time in their own rooms. So, you know, we do accommodate them with enough space in here to all sit together, but you just find that a lot of them don't. So it's there's no point in my opinion in spending the extra money on having those channels on this TV when all the tenants bring laptops and their own TVs with them anyway. You know, they've all got they've all got Netflix, etc. now anyway. So their main thing is they want good internet. So we've got good Virgin Media fiber optic internet in this area. So they get they get high speeds. Um, so we pay for the TV license on this because we supply the TV. We have to pay the TV license on this TV. But um, if we were to supply TVs in all the bedrooms, we'd have to supply TV licenses for those bedrooms as well. 
So we don't do that, we just supply the one TV and if they want to bring their own TVs they can, but they are liable for their own TV licences and that is in the tenancy agreement. So yeah, anyway, I digress. Uh, this is the uh, Inspire Home Automation System. This is the wireless version thermostat, £190. Uh, this will link with the combi boiler and then it will link with uh, the router. So we can actually connect to the thermostat through an app on our phones so we can control the heating in this property. Uh, the tenants can't alter the heating themselves, but it has got a boost function. So if they are particularly cold, they can boost the heating, uh, which we can set to you know, what, whatever we want really. Uh, any parameters that we want to set on this, we can. So if we want them to boost it up by 10 degrees, for example, we, we, can, we can allow that for one hour, two hours, or three hours, or whatever. So that's that. I'll take you through to the kitchen. So this is an unlicensed HMO by the way, and it is. It's not in an outdoor floor area. So uh, we've still got the fire doors, we've still got all the smoke alarm systems, all the stuff that you need to have, but there's no licensing requirement for this property. Um, but we still try to do things as if we did need a license, just in case there was any changes in the future. Um, but yeah, this is a Howland's kitchen. Um, it's just a, a nice uh, thick worktop, sort of curved edges, uh, rounded edges, sort of graphite laminate, laminated finish um, with a nice sort of brick effect, uh, black glossy tile. I think it looks quite contemporary, I quite like the contrast uh, between the, the sort of white and the black colours. Um, we've got a nice little breakfast bar here as well. Um, you know, whether people use it or not, they've got the option to use it if they want to. Uh, we've got the washing machine in here as well. Um, and this is the combi boiler up here. So, this is the utility space. Now, we did see, as you can see, there's a bedroom back here. So, we did actually have a wall that we've moved in this direction to make this back bedroom bigger. And we've got the tumble dry here and the fridge freezer. Um, so, I'll take you into the bedroom. So, this is the only bedroom in the house that's got its own ensuite. So, it was a bit of a no brainer, really, just because. The drainage was here because this is where the bathroom would have been back back in the day you know um, obviously these houses are like 100 years old so you know the bathroom would have been an outside toilet um, and the plumbing's here already the drainage is here already so this is it was easy to put this in well, we get 450 pounds a month for um, a room like this with an ensuite and that would be enough to cover our our overheads on the property so even if we had just this one room filled a month then we're covered. Okay. So this was the second bedroom that, um, in the property. So we're seeing the two downstairs ones now. So I'm going to take you upstairs to see the other three double bedrooms. So let's go. So this is bedroom three. This is the one I was talking about outside because it's on the corner, it's just a little bit of a funny shape. Uh, but I think it I think it's still good, you know. We've still got all the necessary furniture in here, double bed, chest of drawers, bedside table, and wardrobe. Um, so yeah, this is the green room. This is the till bedroom. So yeah, this, this, this room I think really has a wow factor. It's just the way the light comes in, the colours are bright. It's, uh, you know, it, looks, it looks great when you walk in, I think. It looks good in the photos as well at the end. So, so this is the first shared bathroom. So we've got one ensuite downstairs and we've got two shared bathrooms up here. So there's only two people sharing each bathroom, which is uh, quite okay, I think. But that's the uh, that's the second electric shower. So the ensuite downstairs was electric. This bathroom's electric, uh, and then the bathroom next door that I show you is um, off the combi. So this bathroom's quite nice. It's got a sort of little basin in the corner, which is a bit of a feature. And then yeah, the showers off the uh, combi boiler. So if the combi does ever go down, we've still got two electric showers. So uh, we're always covered. People can still have showers. Um, this is a little cleaning cupboard in here, it's a small little cupboard above the stairs. Um, we've got a cleaner that comes once a week for an hour, she cleans all the communal spaces. So that's her little space. 
Uh, yeah, and then this is the final bedroom. This is the red bedroom, bedroom five. Uh, gets plenty of light in this room. We still need to put some blinds and curtains up and just sort of finish off, but um, yeah, we're pretty much there with this one. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching our video. Uh, don't forget to visit our website www.pigsofspeedy.com. Uh, Repress our investor pack, and you'll see some more information on this. And if you hang around, you'll see the slideshow next with the uh, with the floor plans and the numbers at the end. Thank you. Bye.